welcome back once again now we are going to continue okay uh, as i said so i did not close mine it's still here okay so uh in case but i want to show you another alternative in case uh something you i mean you have stickly close it let me show you how to go about it okay so i can just enter reboot reboot to shut it down okay okay uh it didn't work so no problem let me click here let's see if you have okay so we don't have that here but uh let me see reboot okay no it's not working so let us continue i don't think uh if mistakenly you have uh mistakenly close it what you need to do is come here and just click when you look through it you see uh restarts okay because it's still working uh, um, i mean it's still working that's why i cannot see restart here okay but in case mistakenly you have closed it you can just click here restart to restart it okay so now let's move on right now let's let us continue with the installation so our next video is how to install that's what we are going to look at okay so how to install and i'm here and we are going to use these uh to install the application okay that's what we are going to use okay so first of all uh i will copy this one sudosu okay so you can copy this oh uh, i you if you like you can just memorize it and enter it so i will enter sudo dash su dash negative okay then click enter you see the root has changed here initially it was we were using ubuntu and now it has changed okay okay good and that is what we are looking for now let us continue so over here let me open it again uh we are going to enter this code okay just copy this code code make sure you copy everything okay only the top one okay only the scan one here so copy it let me minimize it again and uh right click it it will paste it for you and click enter okay so uh this is what i was looking for so definitely you see this okay so the, you, you should be able to see this on your screen okay good let us continue okay so i will copy this one but this one i'm going to show you some changes that you need to do which is very very important or else uh, you'll be able to log in to your uh, dashboard okay so let me copy this i will minimize it and let me show you how you can do here uh, first of all let me open this uh here i'm going to use a folder here uh, i don't know where to go but i just want to show you something uh, okay good because i've hide this thing okay let me go to uh, desktop good okay have this desktop and i think uh, let me use a folder okay i just want to uh, use any folder sorry i have something inside this folder okay so okay let me use this one here when you right click this you can use when you go to new you can use this test document okay so let me select that i don't need to so open it like this paste that code okay i'm going to show you the changes that you can make here okay good inside it you see that we have an email address here it says email but we have a space here then this is my email okay just replace it with your own email address okay do that only make sure you don't change anything just replace this so it will be advisable if you select it just select it and re-enter your own email address okay good after that we have password space uh password here is a code so just leave it don't touch it by here hash eradar at 2020 is my own password so unless if you want to use my password then you don't have to change it and the email too and i will not advise you to use my email okay so just copy this one and enter your own password okay good after that I uh, remember when we were uh, I mean creating uh, uh, I mean creating the DNS okay uh, creating the DNS records we added uh, that is a subdomain that is 
host okay host if you remember good so in case you did the same thing then you don't have problem but here you see it's host.erader.xyz okay so if you made you you were able to make your host to then it means that it will be supposed to be host dot then your domain name dot uh dot the extension okay good so only change this one what i mean is change this one to sweet yours okay so if you made it host then you only bring dot then your domain name dot com or dot ga okay after that that's the changes that you need to do that is all so i will copy the whole of this because it's mine i don't have to change anything so i'll copy that and close this uh let me minimize this too and i will come here and paste it okay and now i'll click enter okay and now it is reading okay so you're supposed to see this on your screen and for now this will take about uh it will take more than 10 minutes or so so i'll, I'll pause the video when it is done then we will continue welcome back now the installation is done okay uh as you can see it is done it says you must restart the system before continue okay so we have to restart to, to to do that let's enter reboot okay reboot okay the reboot is here let me show you uh or if you like you can just copy it and paste okay so just enter reboot and click enter okay and now you see so you see this okay good now you have to wait for about a, a minute or two minutes let's say two minutes okay so for now i can say that thank you for watching but don't close it okay don't close the uh party up okay so you wait don't close it but uh we will meet in the next uh lesson bye bye